Now you're looking at this beautiful flower. Very nice. But you know, even as we walk through daily life, there are traps that the enemy puts in front of us that we have to watch out for. Jesus came to set us free. We see this in Galatians 5.1. He could easily have been offended by all of mankind. He faced every possible opportunity for offense, but yet he forgave. He was able to take every thought captive, even when other people treated him badly. So there are traps we have to avoid. We don't want to get caught in the enemy's web of destruction. And today we're going to look at how do we successfully avoid the trap of offense. It's so easy to get offended. And we don't want to get involved and caught in the trap of the enemy. How do we successfully avoid the trap of offense? Even though Jesus was bombarded by every lie from Satan, he did not give in. Instead, Jesus quoted God's truth in the face of those lies from the enemy. That's something that we have to do. How can we be unoffendable? Let's look at what we must do to avoid these traps of offense and lies from the enemy. Well, first of all, we need to listen carefully to our thoughts about others. These ongoing conversations can be destructive. We must guard our heart and listen carefully. Has someone or some situation caused us to be offended? These conversations go on and on in our head. They're dead-end conversations that get us nowhere. So we need to guard our heart and listen carefully. Then we need to learn to release others. We must learn to forgive from the heart and not seek revenge. We need God's grace to forgive. We need his grace every day. He will help us to forgive and pray for our enemies. And this takes time. We have to do it over and over again. We must work at it until it works into us. There are secret dialogues that go on inside of us that begin to change over time. But again, as I said here, we need God's grace to do it. He helps us to forgive our enemies. We may need to talk, repent, or pray with that person who has offended us. And then we need to walk around the traps. Remember these traps, these webs? We don't want to be caught in a web of offense. We don't want to be trapped by the enemy, so we need to walk around these traps. We must live carefully and wisely. Satan will use every opportunity to bring offense. He will lie to us about others. Let's watch out for Satan's bait to try to trap us. We must not minimize the dangers of harboring an offense. We need to walk through life very carefully because these are setups and they're everywhere. He will try to trap you even this week. Then we need to crucify our carnal flesh. We must use every offense as an opportunity to die to our selfish ways. There are opportunities to make us more Christ-like and we need to diligently work daily at bringing our thoughts captive to Christ. So let whatever offenses come our way, let them crucify our carnal flesh so that we can be more like Jesus. And then we need to focus on God. Jesus is our example. He gives us a new heart. When we let ourselves get offended, we are focusing on ourselves instead of on God. We need to look up, ask God for his help. He will help us and focus on his attributes and how good he is and worship him. He's going to help us through every offense. So let's learn to walk carefully. Let's not fall into the bait of Satan and the trap of offense. Our just God be sovereign, has all wisdom, and we can trust in his perfect justice. He can break through every difficult relationship that you and I have if we learn to focus on him. We will go through suffering at times. Yeah, it's true, but God's going to use it for our good. He will make us steady and steadfast in spirit. And if we want to have breakthrough prayer, which we all do, we must learn to live without offense. We must learn to trust God to bring about justice in his own way and time. And Lord, we pray, help us to walk through life without offenses. Help us, Lord, to listen carefully to our thoughts about others. Help us learn to release others 
and help us to walk around those traps that the enemy tries to set up in our lives, those traps of offense. Let them crucify our carnal nature. We want to be like you. We want to focus on you. We pray that you would help us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And may the Lord help you to successfully avoid the trap of offense in your life. God bless. Thank you.